On Wednesday, Pakistan went to the polls for its general election. The two candidates most likely to be prime minister were Shabazz Sharif, who is the brother of the jailed former prime minister Nawaz Sharif, and Imran Khan, whom people might know as Pakistan's former international cricket captain. By Thursday morning, it looked like Imran Khan had a decisive lead. However, if Mr. Khan is confirmed prime minister, he will face two immediate crises. The first is a crisis of legitimacy. Mr. Khan's opposition parties have said that the election process and election day itself were subject to heavy manipulation, with some people alleging that the country's powerful army and security services were behind that manipulation. Second crisis that Mr. Khan will face is likely to be an economic one. Pakistan's reserves of foreign currency are fast running out. As of the last count, the country has $9 billion worth of reserves, which is enough only to cover around two months' worth of imports, and they are depleting quickly. Higher oil prices have pushed the cost of imports up, while exports have remained in the doldrums for several years. Experts predict Mr. Khan may have to go to the IMF for a bailout within months. That would severely hamper his promises to set up what he calls an Islamic welfare state, with significantly higher spending on things like health and education. For other countries, Imran Khan represents something of an unknown quantity. He has never held high political office before, and his views have been somewhat changeable during his 22-year political career. However, Mr. Khan is likely to scale back any support that Pakistan is giving for the U.S. push in Afghanistan. Also, he's likely to try and keep links with China strong, saying that he wants to encourage the China-Pakistan economic corridor. In India, politicians are watching events across the border carefully. There were tentative efforts at some kind of rapprochement between the former Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and Narendra Modi, the Indian Prime Minister. Imran Khan was highly critical of those, but he has also himself talked about possibly having some kind of peace with his neighboring country. However, if he is to toe the military line, he is unlikely to take a particularly friendly view towards India.